Many times we are asked if a Lawrence case is, a, is listed as a cold case. The answer to that is an unequivocal no. Ten years ago today, IU student Lauren Spear disappeared in a mystery that has captivated the nation and haunted the city of Bloomington ever since. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid was on scene as friends and family searched for the missing co-ed within hours of her disappearance. And he returned to Bloomington today to update us on a case that continues to puzzle investigators. Russ. Ten years ago, this was the Smallwood community, a downtown Bloomington apartment complex where we caught our last glimpses of 20 year old Lauren Spear the morning she disappeared. That's Lauren, spotted on the way out of her apartment building on the morning of June 3rd, 2011, before she visited this popular bar and headed up this alley to these townhouses where friends say she hung out for a while before walking home and disappearing down the block at about 4.30 a.m. If it was an opportunist who snatched her off the street, it was local on June 3rd, I would... Uh, I would probably say he lives in, he or she lives in that, that area. Hundreds of volunteers comb Bloomington in the weeks to come, but private investigator Mike Saravallo says Lauren's boyfriend and the people she was hanging around with at these townhomes that morning have never been questioned to his satisfaction. However, he says there may be another scenario. Lauren uh, had a bad heart. She party that night and perhaps uh, she could have uh, expired uh, of natural causes. You know, her heart could have stopped. Uh, maybe she didn't take a medication uh, and uh, her body was disposed of. 11 days passed before Bloomington PD did a thorough door to door search of the area. Chief Michael Dekoff says dozens of interviews and 3,600 tips later, Many times we are asked if Lawrence case is, a, is listed as a cold case. The answer to that is an unequivocal no. The Bloomington Police Department remains as committed to seeking answers regarding Lawrence's disappearance as we were on June 3rd, 2011, when she was re first reported missing. Charlene Spear told me in a text message that her family wasn't doing any interviews this year, quote, because it was just too painful, especially since there has been no progress. In Bloomington, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.